Hi guys, welcome back. Today we will learn about uh, lazy grids in Jetpack Compose. In the previous videos, we covered lazy lists as well. If you want to learn about them, I will put the link uh, in the description of the video. So let's continue with uh, lazy grids, right? So uh, if you let's say you want to display a grid of items, like especially in images, let's say you want to display two or three. Uh, item two or three grids uh, let's say you want to display in the row you want to display three columns so that will become a grid right so uh, if you want to display those kind of layouts so we can use lazy grids as well so let's continue with the lazy grid so here we will be using the uh, uh, this is the proper way of using like you should not use the code directly here but yeah you can do that for testing purpose but uh, if you want to do professional development then it should be like in the composables most of the time right and we should pass modifier parameter as well that we can uh, pass uh, take from the parent and then we can apply on the first column if we will be using here right so let's continue with that so we will be using once first a column will be there and we will apply modifier there modifier dot wrap content height so it will wrap the content height according to the content right and inside this uh, we will be using the lazy vertical grid if we want to display scroll the content vertically then it will be vertical grid if we want to display or scroll the content uh, horizontally it will be lazy horizontal grid so it it, it it requires column maybe how many columns we want so there can be two types of ways we can define it to in two ways fix or adaptive adaptive will be according to the width we will specify some width and we will specify like yeah we need only 150 maximum size of image so it will according to that it will create grids the grids can vary then they will not be fixed they can be four five six depending upon the width of the screen but if we want fix let's say we want like only three three grids right in a column so in a row is sorry if we want three grids in a row those then we can do this and now we will be use this same items method that we used in lazy lists this is a function which 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 builds the layout that is, that is a logical lazy vertical grid uh, sorry lazy grid scope and it's inside lazy list scope as well that is in, used inside lazy list and here we will be using test data uh, i have some test items list there if you check it's 50 items are there i'm generating a random number there and depending upon that i am picking the list from this yeah. url so there are four items there so we can say zero to three so it will pick between 0 to 3 any index will be there and it will pick up any random image right so if you want to load a image from the network we need coil library there so let's search it and we will be adding that so yeah just copy this and then go to our build.gradle Cool. let's sync it now and then we will be ready because I have some links from the network for images so we will be using that so for normal if you want to load item from the disk we can directly use image composable but if you want to load from the network but here yeah it will be here right now let's see uh, what it requires it requires model right any so we will be passing the url here in the model and content description similarly we can just as of now specify it as null so it will go like it dot url right or if we specify our own receivers type then we can specify that right it looks cool so now 
it will load image from the network right and uh, let's apply this modifier that is the best practice we should use and then we will apply another modifier right so let's try to run it and see what is the output close the apps in the background yeah it crashed so let's check it yeah permission internet permission yeah okay that's a very basic basic things <laughs> we forget sometimes yeah. whenever we create usually app we forget that so let's add internet permission it will be uses permission permission of internet and now let's try because if we want to use internet then we uh, require internet permission yeah so you can see it's loaded there and it's scrolling fine So uh, this this is about like grid how we can do it because we required here fixed grid right and th another way can be like if we try adaptive then we can specify many size here like how many dp let's say if we want it to be 200 dp right and now depending upon the screen width so on some if width is let's say total width is 800 that it will cover four four grids will be there if it's 600 it will be three similarly depending upon the width it will be uh, creating the grids so if you see depending upon the width it only created if we apply make it like 100 then it's creating three you can see and let's say if i want it 70 then you can see grid is of 5 so there are two ways grid cells dot fix and grid cell dot adaptive right similarly we can uh, use lazy horizontal grid as well and it requires rows and then rest will be same it can be either like adaptive or it can be fixed so it will be like same right? let's try fixed first and let's try with three and let's change it to fixed as well or let let it that let it be the same only we are changing this one right and let's give some spacer here modifier dot height let's say 16 dot dp or we can give it more i think so if you check it's only displaying row column is not there big five it took why it happened it took like all the height right so we can what we can do is we can supply modifiers here modifiers dot uh, let's say if we want it inside only uh, three or two hundred dp right if you see it created three three rows 
grade of three rows right so it will be moving three because in the horizontal grade we can specify grades by specifying the rows how many rows we required so we require one two three three rows so according to three rows it will uh, according to the width height of the image it will uh, like generate their cells or you can say grades right so here what we did horizontally we require three rows one two three and then rest of the width there will be how many items are there so it will dividing the like total items by three in groupings and then it will create like how many columns will be there right in this it will be the opposite right it will become uh, the number of columns will be specifying and it will specify then number of rows will be dynamic depending upon the columns so this is about uh, logical uh, sorry lazy horizontal grid and lazy vertical grid there is a lazy staggered grid as well that we will cover in separate video as of now this is this is the part of this tutorial so i hope you guys have liked the video i will put the code uh, in the description of the video so you can get that and i hope you guys have understood about how we can use lazy uh, grids in jetpack compose and if you like the video you can share it and you can leave in the comments as well on the topics you want videos on jetpack compose or kotlin yeah also if you want to know about learn about kotlin i am sharing the shorts as well on the youtube these days on the kotlin so you can check out those as well so you will learn about kotlin as well and in the future i will be covering the kotlin uh, complete videos for kotlin as well so that's it for about uh, lazy grids so till then bye bye take care guys see you in the next video keep coding